The best, most experienced troubleshooters rely on a systematic troubleshooting process to solve problems on today's highly complex control circuits. A good troubleshooting process is simple. 1. Investigate the symptoms. You must then try to identify the possible causes. 2. Test the system and verify possible causes. Once corrective action is taken, follow through by monitoring the operation to make sure you have pinpointed the root cause, then complete any required documentation. A closer look at each step. Investigate the symptoms. Be sure you understand the system. Gather any available documentation. This may be hard copies or information may be available online. Locate schematics, piping, and instrumentation diagrams, as well as loop sheets. Talking to the operators and anyone else familiar with the operation may provide needed information. Pull all operations and maintenance records and control and configuration parameters. This information may be available from a PLC or DCS or other online databases. Generally, you won't know where the problem lies. Because of this, keep the big picture in mind. Start by breaking down even the most complex system into the five elements that follow. 1. Process controller most often involving a microprocessor. 2. Input field devices, sensors of some type that monitor the process. 3. Output field devices, drives, valves, and alarms that receive a command signal from a control element. 4. Connectivity elements, wires, cables, and buses. 5. Process materials. 6. The people who can affect the process and its control system. Since the wiring and the inputs and outputs, IOs, are the most vulnerable elements in a system, examine them first. While talking to people and reviewing information, look for a reoccurrence or pattern. If a pattern exists, is it related to shift changes, process changes, or any other reoccurring event? Use your own judgment on when to quit gathering information.